in this video we are going to we are going to do a clone of a hard disk so this can be a hard disk or a ssd or a usb drive or anything it doesn't really matter but in this case both are virtual disks and this is a virtual machine uh, vmware workstation running uh, ubuntu uh, 19.04 uh, you know just saying for that case what really happened was one of my windows vms got corrupt uh, one of the snapshots in it got corrupt to be correct and uh, those snapshots without those it, it won't allow me to clone it or even it won't allow me to do anything with it but i have seen that if i give the base virtual disk to any VM, it can actually read it. So, uh, yeah, and also it doesn't have any snapshots. But anyway, it is really nice because I can actually get the base uh, disk from it. So, yeah, if if you are just planning to clone this, you, you don't have to know about, you know, VMware, VMware and those kind of things. You just need to know how to do it in Linux. So, let's get started. First of all, uh, we will be doing LSBLK. So LSBLK means list block. In this, you can actually see that there are three disks. One is slash DV slash SDA, which is 80 gigs, uh, which will be the Windows disk we are going to clone. Another will be slash DV slash SDB, which will be the uh, target disk, which is an empty disk, which is also 80 gigs. First of all, you have to make sure that DV slash SDA, the disk to be cloned, that is uh, SDA, should be smaller or equal to the size for, to FDB. That is the thing you have to make sure. So the target should be greater or equal to the source. The source here is SDA and destination or the target here is SDB. So let's make sure that 80 gigs, when you are plainly saying 80 gigs, it may seem a uh, little bit weird because anything can be rounded up to 80 gigs. 79.99999 can be rounded up to 80 gigs. And uh, yeah, a lot of hard disks. If you buy a 2 TB hard disk, they are saying 2 TB, that is uh, 2 into 10 raised to uh, 10 raised to a uh, 9 10 raised to 9 uh, bytes so yeah but some hard disks don't have that much so you have to check it to check it what you have to do is you have disk slash dv slash sda and you have to give it zero so yeah let's do that and enter my secure password printing the disk let's open another terminal do the same pseudo slash dv slash slash stb uh, and i forgot f disk yeah silly me right f disk password for me yes right print okay so we are only interested in this this part this is called the header and uh this header basically says that this is a VMware virtual disk and the disk size is 80 gigs and this is in gib that means this is gpy byte. This is uh, gpy byte means you have to multiply with 102 for instead of 1000, which is normally the standard. So if you buy a 80 GB hard disk, that will be 70, uh, 72 point something, I guess, in size, in GIBs. But as this is a virtual disk, we can actually create our own disk. So yeah, it, it can be 80 gigs exact if we want. Right. Uh, so we can see that the bytes is exactly the same. We can also see that the number of sectors is exactly exactly the same. And one more thing to know is, uh, if you are if you are looking for the bytes, then it's okay. If you are looking for the sectors, then you have to actually know what a sector is. A sector is a unit in the hard disk, and a sector can be uh, of any size. Right now, normally the disks have 500 KB sector size, but nowadays. We are, we are seeing this with 4 MB sector size and more the sector size more the performance and more, uh, more the sector size uh, the smaller files you keep the la larger uh, 
uh, space basically gets ruined. Kind of, it needs to minimum use some space. You, if you say one byte, uh, one byte of file, it will use five four bytes in minimum because uh, at least one sector should be used by each file. So yeah. Um, right. Enough of that. Uh, we'll be going through copying process. So the cloning process. For cloning process, what you have to do is first of all keep this. Uh, we shouldn't be you know keeping this because if we do anything and click W that or type W, then it will write that partition table to this which we don't want because we want to only see the partition. We don't want to do anything with the partition table, right? So let's get into it. DD if is equal to slash dv slash sda of is equal to slash dv slash sdv and you have to make sure 100% that you are not messing up the source disk and the target disk if is equal to source if is equal to source we can see all the partitions which command did we type slash dv slash sda perfect destination disk we don't need to really check it but if you have multiple disks, then you have to check it. So slash dv slash stb. Okay, let's check it. This has no partition table, so this should be empty. Right. Slash dv slash stb. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Now pressing a enter will work. Pressing enter will work and you know it will it will uh, yeah. I have to do this usually. Right. Now always that happens. Right. And we can sit here and watch. But I don't want to see the progress, right? DD doesn't show you the progress. It will only show you when it is over, right? So let's work on how to see this whole progress. So getting that, now we have to do is we have to pipe this thing and DD off. This will all also do the same thing. Like uh, if I have, if I did do the sudo, it should have worked. See, it does the same thing. Right, so we have successfully split the command into two. So yeah, let's cut off the again and let's let's pipe the key. And here we'll be putting TV and uh, putting size of uh, eighty gigs. So eighty uh, G maybe. Okay, so yeah, PV is not the short. So zero APT. Yeah, I, I thought of typing back. Yeah. Uh, always arch user, right? PV, uh, let's install PV, right? PV is a very useful program, it, it, it basically means pipe view. So, it basically says how much data is going through the pipe. You need not specify the minuses. If you don't specify the minuses, it's for, it won't give you a percentage. But if you specify minuses, that means you, it, it kind of knows how much data is to be transferred via the pipe so it will count the data getting transferred by the pipe so yeah that that is that is going and you can see that is very slow but it is now working um, yeah that is that should be pretty slow because you know first of all uh, if this is both a virtual disk and this is on a raid but it is on a single raid with two disks in RAID 0 so yeah it is it is pretty wicked fast but the main throttling factor is that we have to basically uh, take the disk we have to extract the data from the disk we have to take that data and put it to another disk and you know compress it and put it in the disk that is what VMware does it doesn't compress that much but you know it does do so many things and also we are basically virtualizing the whole thing like there is a second gunner running here so yeah it, it is it is really expensive task to do with the vm but th that is why this is slow but in your computer it won't be slow if it is not a vm it will be really fast and i have all the time you know i would ever need to do this i'll be keeping it running for decades if it takes so yeah um Right, so we'll be seeing after this thing comes because I don't want a 42 minute video, right? 
yeah you also don't want it so yeah let's let's pause this video for now and let's continue after this is done yeah it is done so yeah um yeah so you can see that it is showing you both the gbs and gibs so yeah you can kind of see the difference right uh, anyway, I, I have a video on GIBs, GBs and those kind of things, so if you want it, you can kind of you know, search for it and watch it, I guess. But yeah, this just for the fact, I'm just giving you the calculations here. So yeah, what's the difference between GB and GIB, right? Uh, whenever you buy a disk, you get the thing in GBs, you don't get in GIBs. So, yeah, that is something you have to look for, right? So if you get a hard disk with 86 GB, that means it is uh, it is it should be multiplied by a thousand. And now you get 86 uh, thousand MBs, and now if you divide it by 1024, you'll be getting an approximate amount of GBs. But if you really want the hundred percent correct amount, then what you have to do is you have to take it to bytes. So for that, you have to multiply by 1000, that will take you to MP, then multiply by 1000, that will take you to KBs, then multiply by 1000, that will take you to uh, bytes, and you will be getting this. And that is the generation 9 which I was talking about. Uh, now if you divide it, with, uh, not generation 9, generation uh, uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3, I am 9, I was talking about, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, if, if you divide it by 1024, now we will be taking this thing to kilobytes. Then divide it by 1024, now we will be taking this thing to megabytes. And if you divide it by 1024, we will be taking this thing to gigabytes. And you can kind of see that this thing matches this readout, which is GIB. And uh, this is this is GIB, this is MIB, and this is KIB. So, yeah, I think, I think you get this from this. I guess right so yeah with this we have finished what we are doing and for the fact before unplugging your drive just type sync this basically means that uh, it will synchronize all the data into it if you are not doing this then please uh, eject or unmount the drive so you eject the drive if it is external drive you will be having an option to eject but if it is not an external drive you won't be having an option to eject but if you want to just use the right, right? Sometimes it may be detected already that the partitions are there. But if it is not detected, then you have to do sudo part pro, sudo part pro partition pro slash dv slash zv. And sudo password. So that is a secure password which I gave it to him. And after that, the kernel will be notified that the partition table changed. If, if it did change automatically. Right, so yeah, uh, we, we do have changed disk and you can see both of them look the same. So yeah, both are exactly the same hard disk now. Right, and also if you, if you do fdisk, fdisk slash dv slash sea and we have to do um, Okay, we have to do sudo, then uh, if we do that and if we go to another terminal and do uh, slash dv slash sdv and if you type in the password, then we will be getting this. And you can kind of see that both are clones because both have the same UID. Both UIDs are the same. So if, if you are using this hard disk both in a single machine, then everything will freak out because the, both of the UIDs are same. So you have to change the UIDs. And those things, maybe, maybe, maybe if I am getting time, will be like a will be covered in another video so for this video those things are out of scope i just mentioned those so that you won't have any problems with them right so yeah i think this is done and uh if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and if you really uh, liked it and if you want to see more of these kind of videos just press the like button it's helped me a lot because you know i want to see if this thing is giving me a positive feedback or negative feedback and if you want to see more you know see more of these videos and kind of random stuff 
then subscribe to my channel ultimate random and the subscribe button should be down there right i don't do any fan fancy intros and fancy outros so yeah goodbye peace